ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. The scriptures state that Satan has a seed. If Satan have a seed, his offspring roam the earth just as Satan roams this earth. In order to identify the serpent seed, you must know Satan's characteristics. The serpent seed will possess the same trait as their father Satan. The scripture said you will know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. If you take the time to observe a person, their behavior will reveal so much more than the words coming out of their mouths. Israelites, it is important to test their spirits and observe everyone. Not everyone who appear to have your best interests in mind is for you. They will draw near to you to learn your weaknesses and conspire against you. The scripture says Satan and his ministers transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Satan and the workers of iniquity transform themselves to deceive you. No one will suspect a self-righteous man or woman that has an appearance of a humble servant. The church is home to many high-level workers of iniquity. Through religion, the kingdom of darkness can steal many sheep's destiny and remain undetected in the lives of the sheep. On many occasions, I have seen sheep defend workers of iniquity. The society we are living in today has many Israelites and non-Israelites tied to evil altars. That is why many defend lawlessness. It is a known fact that Satan imitate everything the Most High does to deceive the people who wants to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. In addition, Satan imitate to get the worship he lusts after and to grow his army. The Most High has a chosen people, Satan will have a chosen people. If the Most High have a temple, Satan will build a similar temple. The Most High sent the Messiah, Satan sent the false Messiah that came in his own name. If the Most High prophesied to his people, Satan will send the workers of iniquity to prophesy lies to the people. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. A good example I can show you through scriptures of Satan imitating the Most High when Moses was dwelling in the land of Mizraim. Yah appointed Moses to deliver his people out of the land of bondage. Before the Exodus, the Most High sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh to perform miracles that would convince Pharaoh to let his people go. Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Pharaoh called upon all the workers of iniquity to imitate the same miracles and wonders the Most High did through Moses and Aaron. And Moses and Aaron did so, as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died. 
and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart was hardened, neither did he hearken unto them, as the Lord had said. As you have heard, the workers of iniquity, powered by the kingdom of darkness, can imitate the same signs, wonders, and miracles of the Most High to deceive. Satan has been doing this from the beginning. That is how he became the God of this world. Rest assured, Israelites, Satan imitations could never overpower the Most High. The workers of iniquity will imitate, but the Most High will triumph over every enemy. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Now that you know Satan could imitate everything the Most High does to deceive, Satan has imitated the created people of the Most High. We all know that the Most High's original people are the dark indigenous people. Yah made his created people in his image and in his likeness. Out of all the people the Most High created, Yah selected a specific group of people to show himself strong through. Out of the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob came the family the Most High selected for himself, the Israelites. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Just because the Most High selected the Israelites does not conclude the Most High did not create the other dark indigenous people made in his image and likeness. The non-Israelite indigenous nations are a part of the Most High's creation. However, they are not a part of the chosen bloodline, but they are the people the Most High created. Yes, the Most High selected the Israelites for a specific calling. The individuals from other bloodlines who forsaken the idols of their father's house can also be saved. Once the Most High redeem his people, the strangers portion is not the same as the Israelites. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors. The indigenous people the Most High created must possess genes that could birth indigenous people with various features. Today, you can find indigenous people with straight hair and colored eyes. Those are normal features. Do not allow Satan to make you believe because an indigenous person have straight hair or colored eyes, they are mixed. Straight, Curly hair, colored eyes are as normal as woolly hair and brown eyes in the indigenous population. The original people are the mothers and fathers of this earth. Out of the indigenous people came everyone else. Although the indigenous people have various features to make them stand out, all indigenous people have one thing in common, regardless of bloodline, the dark brown hue or melanin. Many do not know the power behind melanin. If they did, they would not try so hard to get rid of it. The dark brown hue or melanin was given to you for protection and to distinguish you from the serpent seed. Through the fallen angels and the indigenous people's sins, Satan created his own people made in his likeness and image. Sin opens the door to the kingdom of darkness. The scripture says sin separate you from the most high. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Satan convinced many angels to go against the Most High, and Satan convinced many indigenous people to go against the Most High. Therefore, it is important to repent. If you continue in iniquity, the kingdom of darkness will rule over you. The offspring of the fallen and the children of men are a new species. 
The animal kingdom has various species that differentiate the animals. Humankind has two different species. If what the fallen angels and the indigenous people created were made in the image of the Most High, the scriptures would not have given detailed description of their appearance. In addition, differentiate them from Yah's creation. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. There are several books excluded from the Bible that give an enormous amount of detail of the serpent seed. It is of no surprise that those books were removed from the Bible. How can Satan and his seed go undetected if these books are not discredited and removed? Israelites, have you noticed a pattern? Wherever truth is being spoken, Satan and his disciples appear to discredit. The workers of iniquity use the shaming tactic to invoke the spirit of emotions. If they cannot control you through emotions, they try to shut down the truth. When you have the Holy Spirit revealing truth, the Spirit of the Most High can fill in the blank. Whatever the kingdom of darkness wants to hide, the Most High will expose. The scripture said, what is done in the dark, which surely manifests. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Today, in the awakening, everything is manifesting. What was once hidden is being exposed. Israelites, it is important that you have eyes to see and ears to hear. Satan will come to dilute the information received in the awakening. If what the Most High is planting in his people were false, the kingdom of darkness would remain silent. Because the truth is being spoken, the truth is damaging the kingdom of darkness and exposing the serpent seed. Satan sent his agents to distract in various ways. It is important, Israelites, not to let the seeds the Most High is planting in you fall on stony grounds. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. No matter how many times you explain who the indigenous people are, many become offended. Israelites, stop trying to convince the heathens you are a peculiar people. They do not possess eyes to see and ears to hear. The truth is not in them. Therefore, they cannot receive the truth. Satan has blinded the eyes of many that they cannot see nor hear. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Besides Satan blinding their eyes, the truth to the words of the Most High is foolishness to those who are perishing. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If they truly had eyes to see and ears to hear, they would not side with the B system when the truth is setting everybody free. If the ones who say they are cleaving to the Israelites were for the Most High, by now they would have comprehended that they do not need to descend from the Israelite bloodline nor become spiritual Israel to serve the Most High. All non-Israelites had to do is forsake the idols of their father's house. Follow the statutes, commandments, laws of the Most High, and cleave to his people, the Israelites. It is that simple. The kingdom of darkness has placed the spirit of jealousy into the hearts of many that they must have Jacob's inheritance as well. If they had ears to hear, they would have heard the message. Because Satan must maintain his dominion on earth, he sends division and many other foul spirits to cause strife. Therefore, we should not entertain nor engage the disciples of Satan. Remember, the scripture said, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The way the serpent seed increased its population, Satan had to intermingle his seed with the indigenous population. The scriptures made it known that while the indigenous people slept, Satan sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. 
For while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The offspring of the fallen and the indigenous people continued to breed with the indigenous population to increase the serpent seed. War and colonization helped spread the tares among the wheat. Before our generation, Satan used religion to enforce his doctrines upon the indigenous people. The kingdom of darkness gave the people two choices, accept religion or die. The kingdom of darkness killed those who did not comply and planted its seed with those who submit. Remember the Christian crusade and the inquisition. Everywhere the serpent seed went, he raped the indigenous women and planted its seed. As the serpent seed grow, the serpent seed procreated within to bring forth a pure bloodline. This is why by the third and fourth generation, the serpent seed stomp out the indigenous blood. Also, it takes four generations for the seed of the fallen and the indigenous to return to its original roots. Race has nothing to do with anything. Today, biracial and mixed people often procreate with the serpent seed. Remember, the biracial people makes the quadroon. If that were not the case, we would not have a large population of the serpent seed today. The reason colonization was important to Satan Every inhabitant on every land on this earth are dark indigenous people. You will find dark indigenous people that have not intermingled with the serpent seed until this day. The indigenous people live in the most remote places while some assimilate into the beast system. The heathen media would never reveal this to you. The heathen will show you the carbon copy of the indigenous people in their media to make it appear as if they belong. The indigenous people can have straight, curly, and wavy hair, colored eyes, and more. Colored eyes and colored hair are a form of albinism. Albinism is a recessive gene. A so-called black person can have a child that is lighter skin but not pale with straight, curly, or wavy hair, while the serpent seed cannot give birth to an indigenous child. The serpent seed can only have offspring with cloned features of the original. The serpent seed is plagued with recessive genes. Today, society put the recessive gene on a pedestal while shaming the original dominant gene. I have never heard of two serpent seed giving birth to a dark-skinned person with woolly hair. The closest they have gotten is when they mate with an indigenous person. Even then, their recessive genes overpower the original. This is why the kingdom of darkness pushes the one-drop rule. They want to persuade you that they can make indigenous children. So far, many have fallen for this lie. When you accept their lies, the more you reinforce the serpent seed. Satan had to plant his tares among the wheat to claim birthrights and possessions of this world. The so-called black people did not have to plant their seeds all over the world. Black people were already all over the world. In every nation of today, you will find black or white. For example, Asian is not a race. There are white Asians and black Asians. There are white Spanish and black Spanish, white Cubans and black Cubans, black Americans and white Americans, black Germans and white Germans. Race was invented by the serpent seed to gain birth rights. I have heard the workers of iniquity argue that the most high allowed the tares to grow with the wheat. There is no difference between the two. Many use the parable to justify that color does not matter. In addition, the wheat and the tares are the same. They fail to understand the tares end. The scriptures clearly states that the Mosai will send his angels to gather the tares first and burn them. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. The scriptures also said that the reason the Most High allowed the tares to grow with the wheat, he did not want to uproot the wheat with the tares. He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. Lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. The Most High is waiting until the end to separate the two. Nowhere in the scriptures, the Most High said he accepted the tares. He will cast them into the lake of fire. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. 
the enemy that sowed them is the devil, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. Satan is the god of this world. Satan cannot rule if his seed is not ruling with him. In order to maintain his dominion, the serpent seed must hold all the high power positions in this world. Satan cannot rule if the people of the Most High are in power. Satan is ruling with his seed today. Remember, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. The scripture said the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The wicked is ruling in every land on this earth. The nations that do not have a serpent seed as the president, the kingdom of darkness is behind the scenes orchestrating everything. Satan will use a carbon copy to deceive the indigenous people. Obama is a great example. There are indigenous people who choose to serve the kingdom of darkness, trading their glory for the lesser. By choosing the kingdom of darkness, they become a part of the serpent seed. That is why the wicked of the most highest people must perish. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. The serpent seed managed to steal the identity of the most highest creation and the bloodline of the chosen people. The serpent seed takes credit for everything great that has ever happened in this world, as if they are the most high. They act as if they invented the earth and everything that's in it. They have the same character trait of their father, Satan. Satan wants to be worshipped like the most high. Satan wants to exalt himself higher than the most high. His children are doing the same. The fall of the indigenous people gave the serpent seed control of this world. When the chosen people truly repent and seek the Most High, Yah will reverse their captivity. When the times of the heathens are fulfilled, the Most High will strip the serpent seed. The purpose of the tares is to replace the indigenous people the Most High created. Satan wants to make his seed appear as if they are the original people. Today, the serpent seed claim the identity and history of Mizraim. The serpent seed do not care that Mizraim is Ham's descendants. As long as they were born on the land where Mizraim descendants well, they claim it for themselves. The serpent seed is claiming the identity of all nations. They have convinced themselves of being the original people. Never mind that their whole existence is nothing but recessive genes. If they were the original, they would have the natural organic gene that all dark indigenous people possess, melanin. If the tares were the original, they would be able to birth dark indigenous people. The pride in the heart of the tares have deceived them, just as pride deceived their father Satan. Satan has replaced the Israelites, the chosen bloodline, with his tares. They have claimed Jacob's inheritance for themselves. Never mind that in the land where they proclaim to descend has indigenous dark people dwelling there first. They would never admit they have to procreate with an indigenous person first to raise their own offspring. The tares are counterfeits. The serpent seed is indeed a counterfeit seed trying to pass off as the original. Satan's mission with his tares is to replace the original people. I hope the indigenous people of the world would wake up and stop making themselves available to the serpent seed. The more you procreate with these hybrids, you are cutting yourself off. In addition, giving birth to your future oppressors. It is time that you wake up from the love is love spell. Do not let the spirit of pride deceive you. We must wake up to Satan's schemes. The Most High made his people in his image. Satan imitate the Most High by bringing forth a seed from the lust of man's heart and the fall of the angels. The serpent seed and the original people have the opposite appearance from each other. The Most High's creation is the dark melanated brown hue people that populated this earth first. Satan's seed came after because Satan needed the original people to make his seed. We must restore the distorted history taught to us by the beast system. Satan wants you to look to his seed as God and Savior. Israelites do no such thing. The truth of the words of the Most High will bring pain and arouse various emotions. 
Yahshua said he did not come to bring peace on earth, but a sword. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The heathens have been deceived through religion. The truth is a sword. The sword is meant to cut you and penetrate your spirit. If the people who profess to serving the Most High are truly seeking the Most High, they would understand that the Most High is an Elohim of war. In addition, Yah reserve harsh judgment to those who go against His statutes, commandments, and laws. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. The serpent seed, the kingdom of darkness, and all who follow the beast system will be held accountable. There is no escaping the judgment of the Most High. If the chosen people, the Israelites, are being judged for the sins of their fathers, what makes the heathens believe they will not be held accountable? Satan is a deceiver, the father of lies. Yah is making the truth known. Israelites and non-Israelites, you can harden your heart and perish like Pharaoh and the enemies of the Most High, or you can receive correction, repent, and live. The choice is yours. As for me and my household, we will serve the Most High, the Elohim of Israel. Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve Him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord.